The biggest loss in Fremantle's history, which ended with 23 consecutive goals from Geelong, has some people asking if Ross Lyon's time is up at Fremantle. Ross Lyon joins me live from Coburn tonight. Ross, it's been said the Dockers would be better off without you. Are you the right man to coach Fremantle? Well, it's an opinion business. I'm clearly committed and excited about what lays ahead. We've laid a strong foundation. Two drafts, two seasons. Obviously very disappointing on the weekend, but fully committed to rebuilding and shoulder to the wheel. And the board's been incredibly supportive and the executive and the playing group. So, yeah, full steam ahead. If they came to you and said, we're not sure if you're the right man anymore, if the players came to you and said, we're not sure, would you walk away? Well, you had the captain. It's a non-issue, it's a moot point. We had the captain stand up and say how much he wants me to coach. He's the best coach that he's experienced and he wants me committed and in. So I feel I've got the full player support. Are you hard to work with, Ross? Do you wear people down? Well, it's a high performance, high demand industry. I don't think I've always got the balance right in the past. Um, but certainly now I sit in incredibly comfortable with the work-life balance of my staff and players. Could it be that issues wear people down? I respect the confidential nature of the workplace settlement, which you couldn't talk about earlier in the year, but is it possible the publicity around that issue has worn people down at the club and we saw it come out with that performance on the weekend? I wouldn't have thought so, Basil. 16th, 14th and likely 14th this year. You talked about the rebuild. Some people asking, why was such a drastic rebuild necessary? They look at Sydney and they look at Hawthorne, who you played in the 2013 Grand Final. Why have they been able to stay up and Fremantle haven't been able to? Well, I can only talk about ourselves. And it was a strategic decision by, from the executive of the club and the board to, to do what we've done, turn over 50% of the, list, of the list, let experienced players go that were role players. And, with a view that we could stay competitive, but we wouldn't win it. So we've gone back to the drawing board. There was always going to be pain on the agenda. We're certainly experiencing that, but never as good, never as bad. So um, look, no one's more devastated than me or more invested in this club and feel for the Docker community than myself and the players and, and our coaches. But um, we, we could have chosen to close up the game and flood back, but there was no point. We're playing Letting, letting them play a more open game, and it's going to happen. But we're every opportunity to bounce back this week like we did after the Melbourne game. That's against Collingwood on Saturday, and you've got Aaron Sandlands for one more year. Thanks for taking the questions, Ross. We'll speak next week. No problem. Thanks, Seven.